Mikhail, you guys finished the first half with the flourish. What do you feel triggered that late run before halftime? Um, you know, just everybody combining, combining in, and um, having playing good, playing together, um, trusting coach. You know, just follow everything he say, and um, you know, we just worked hard in practice, and it all showed. And um, us rotating and just being like everywhere on defense, you know, that helped going into the second half. Like half time. I'm sorry. On the subject of defense, just how committed have you guys been there, especially the last two games? Um, you know, we worked hard in practice at it. You know, um, we, we really prepared for, you know, our opponents and stuff like that. So um, we just worked hard and then it all went over to, into the game, went into the game. And, you know, with the defense, this is Aaron's, uh, you know, third straight game with three steals. What have you been seeing from him in, in practice in that practice. regard? Um, him really playing the ball, like denying the ball, you know, not making the area catch easy, um, just putting pressure on guys in practice and stuff like that. Now, like, and it's really showing in, in the games and stuff like that. So, you know, he really worked hard at that. How big the center for uh, the Grizzlies feel to you out on that court? He looked like a really big guy. Um... He, I heard he was, he was, you know, he was big, you know, it didn't look that big towards me. Um, I just, you know. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Um, Mikel, kind of to that point, as a freshman, this was the biggest team that you've faced so far. Did it, was that noticeable out there on the court, and does it feel like this might be a little bit what Big Ten play will be like? Um, yeah, somewhat. Yeah, um, you know, just having to play the post, play post defense and stuff like that, and um, actually working and getting around and moving your feet without fouling, you know, because Everything is touching, like freshmen get called for foul a lot, so, you know, you just got to learn how to walk, work around it, and, um, and that's, that's the styles of practice. How does uh, going up against your brother and Jalen in practice help prepare you for games like these? Um, you know, they really push, we, we push each other, and I'm um, expecting, we got high expectations for each other too, so we know we're all capable, capable of, and um, we just work hard in practice, push each other and motivate, you know, never put each other down because, you know, we're still a family. And um, we just worked hard. We just worked hard. The last, last two games, um, the other team has kind of hung around and, and stayed with you guys for the first bit. Um, how important is it to learn how to adjust and then eventually do what That's you need to do to run away? Um, you know, we, um, we, you know, sometimes we come out slow and stuff, but um, we just, I don't know, we just pick, we just pick up the um, just. Master um, energy on the floor and um